and welcome to my video on arthroscopic repair of a fractured glenoid. This is really for a non-union of the glenoid, um, and it's for arthroscopic reduction and internal fixation with a screw. You can see there, there's our non-united fragment. Um, there's where it's supposed to go on the glenoid. What we'd like to do is get that reduced and fixated. This is all done arthroscopically, so there's our cannulas in place. I've got a seven o'clock. Um, what I'm usually gonna do before this is I'm gonna place an anchor at the inferior aspect, kind of below um, the site of the bone, and we're gonna try and use the soft tissue to aid in our reduction and fixation. So the labrum is still attached to that piece. So what I'm doing here is passing sutures basically below where the fragment is, repairing the labrum, that'll help to bring the fragment up and around. And then we'll place our screw once we have a little bit of kind of preliminary fixation through the soft tissue. You can see the piece is already higher than before. This particular piece is so large so that I really probably could not have placed sutures around it. With a smaller, um, with, with a smaller piece, certainly that would be possible, not with this particular piece. Um, so we're getting the level here of you, you being able to see the actual fragment. So now I'm thinking to myself, okay, I've got, I, I've got the piece. So what we're going to do here is we're going to isolate a space between the subscapularis and the capsule along the neck of the glenoid. So this is really above the anterior inferior um, glenohumeral ligaments, and we're working through this little window so that we can find the inter aspect of the piece. So here we're on the anterior glenoid neck. That's the piece itself. You can see how it's mobile and moving. That's where I need my screw to go. Next, I'm going to clear the superior board of the subscapularis and the lateral board of the, str of, of the um, straps because we're going to place a screw through the Halifax portal, and I need to be able to identify that. So to be able to create the Halifax portal, we'll bring a switching stick from the back. That switching stick is going to come all the way out the skin in the front, and then we'll bring in these two half-pipe cannulas to allow us from the front. And then that's this is the actual drill guide. Um, this is from the Ladder J Experience set from Depew. And what we're doing is we're going to bring that all the way down onto the piece. We're going to get that so that this allows us the trajectory to place our screws. We're going to we're going to from here place a wire through um, the drill guide. We're going to look at the, the use of the wire to try and bring the piece a little bit more lateralized to where it's supposed to be. And then from there we'll drive the wire through the glenoid and then we can drill and place our screw. The Halifax portal allows you to get the screw trajectory that's more parallel to the glenoid face, which is really what we want in this kind of situation. And then you can see how solid the fixation is here and how that piece looks like it's in the right spot. There's our screw there on the fragment down on the anterior glenoid neck. And then here's placement of one anchor above the piece. So here, this is a total of four anchors and one screw to try and get that piece exactly where it's supposed to go. And again, this is, it can be very challenging to fix these big glenoid fragments, but I think placing a screw gives you more confidence that the piece is really solidly fixated. So it's a nice technique um, if you have a piece that's big enough for it. You can see here again, really solid fixation with both the soft tissue uh, and the fragment itself.